Hello everyone, this is Dr. Sakamoto. I would like to report on the progress of stem cell treatment for a 70-year-old man with a cervical hernia. This patient had been experiencing numbness in both hands and feet for about 10 years, which gradually worsened, leading to severe numbness in his legs that made it difficult for him to walk normally. The patient had underlying conditions of diabetes and peripheral artery disease, but the causes of the numbness in his feet were, first, diabetes, second, cervical disc herniation, third, lumbar disc herniation, and fourth, peripheral artery disease. Even with such conditions, numbness in the feet can be observed. This numbness in the legs is not necessarily due to cervical disc herniation. In addition to numbness, this patient also exhibited muscle weakness in the right upper arm muscle responsible for bending the elbow, as well as in the iliopsoas muscle, which is crucial for walking. From this, the aforementioned diabetes, cervical disc herniation, lumbar disc herniation, and peripheral artery disease. Among these four, the conditions that specifically cause muscle weakness are primarily narrowed down to cervical disc herniation and lumbar disc herniation. Then, an MRI of the neck and lower back was performed. While there was no significant cause of spinal cord compression in the lower back, the MRI of the neck showed that the spinal cord was compressed and a hernia was also observed. Because of these factors, this patient underwent surgery for cervical disc herniation. He underwent surgery for cervical disc herniation, and while the numbness slightly improved, especially in his feet, the difficulty in walking remained almost unchanged. This is the MRI taken after the cervical disc herniation surgery, and if you look closely here, you can see the white areas where the spinal cord is damaged. When a hernia has been present for many years and compresses the spinal cord in this way, even after surgery to relieve the compression, the spinal cord can still be damaged, leading to lasting after effects. The symptoms of this person's sequelae included numbness in the hands and feet and muscle weakness. The most troubling issue was the decrease in muscle strength of the iliopsoas muscle, which caused his legs to become so tired that he had to stop walking after about 200 meters. For this patient, our hospital administered stem cells into the spinal cord as a treatment. This patient received 25 million stem cells administered twice. The stem cells that were introduced into the spinal cord reached the damaged area in the cervical spine. As a result, two months later, the severe numbness in both hands had significantly reduced, and the numbness was confined to just the area around the thumbs. Additionally, the severe numbness in his right leg was reduced by about half, and the strength of his iliopsoas muscle, which was the most troublesome, almost returned to normal. He no longer feels any fatigue, even after walking long distances. Additionally, the strength of the biceps brachii has almost returned to normal, in traditional hernia surgery, of course, there are cases where numbness in the hands and feet and muscle weakness are completely resolved through the operation. However, it is often observed that many people experience residual numbness or do not regain muscle strength as a sequela. When I was working at the hospital, I often explained that numbness and muscle weakness could remain as sequelae after surgeries for cervical hernia or lumbar disc herniation. In other words, nerves often do not fully recover. For example, there was a person with cervical disc herniation who experienced very severe numbness in their hands. Painkillers and medications for numbness were almost ineffective, making it difficult to sleep at night and causing significant discomfort in daily life. That person had very severe numbness and even after undergoing neck surgery, the numbness did not go away at all. In such cases, within the scope of insurance-covered treatment, there are no further treatment options available. In this case, I was very surprised to see that by injecting stem cells into the spinal cord, the pain and numbness were significantly reduced and muscle strength almost returned to normal. Following the surgery for cervical hernia and the subsequent sequelae, such as muscle weakness and numbness. As you can see, 
Even after surgery for cervical hernia or lumbar disc herniation, some sequelae inevitably remain. For cases like this, I believe this stem cell treatment is a very good option. For people suffering from numbness and muscle weakness due to cervical hernia, lumbar disc herniation, or spinal cord sequelae, this treatment method of administering stem cells into the spinal cord offers a very hopeful option. This time, I talked about the administration into the spinal cord for postoperative sequelae of cervical disc herniation. Thank you very much.